PPS H41 works. The PPS H41 is a beast. First, let's see its main outer parts. This is the trigger, the component that when pressed initiates the firing sequence. Magazine. The PPS H41 typically uses a detachable box magazine. Barrel. The elongated metal tube through which the bullets travel. Charging handle. Used to manually pull back and release the bolt. Preparing the gun for firing. The PPS H41 is a pipe-styled submachine gun, which means it has a high fire rate. For example, if you take this weapon and push the trigger without releasing it, the gun will continue to fire until the ammo runs out. It belongs to the category of automatic firearms. They are small, lightweight, and built for rapid fire at close ranges. The PPS H41 is an open bolt direct blowback system, which means if it's fired, the same force is reversed to the person who holds it and it is controlled and slowed by the recoil spring. In order to fire first, you have to pull the charging handle which unlocks the gun. This gun comes in two modes. This is a fire selector, pushing it forward. Cause activates auto mode, pushing it back. Activates the semi-auto mode. In semi-auto mode, Pressing the trigger causes the bolt to hit this connector which caused it to go down. And when the bolt came back, the connector again pops up. So in order to fire again, we have to press the trigger again. If you press the trigger in auto mode, you can see the connector didn't pops upward. So the bolt can continuously fire until you take your hands from the trigger. The trigger mechanism of PPS H41 is simple when the trigger is pressed. The bolt is released and it hits the bullet. It has a 71 round drum magazine, while the drum magazine is the most iconic there are other magazine options for this Soviet submachine gun. In addition to the drum magazine, the PPS H41 could also be equipped with a straight box magazine. Hope you got the idea about PPS H41 and it's working. If you like the video, consider subscribing.